Hi, welcome to RCD. My name is Jeff, and today we're going to do a walkthrough in a 2017 Palomino. Starting at the back end. Inside here, we have a place to put your sewer hose. So let, put your sewer hose in here and keep it out of your storage area so all the smells from the sewer hose stay outside the coach. Okay? Simply pop that back, back on there. Right here, we have a stabilizer leg. This is a stabilizer leg, not a leveling leg. What you need to do is get to your campsite, level your coach, then you put the stabilizer leg down. You don't want to try to lift the coach with that because they will bend. So once you're level, go ahead and put the stabilizer leg down. You got one at each corner and it stops the rocking around on the inside when you go inside the coach. Here's your awning and I'll show you how to do that when we go down to the other end. You have two outdoor speakers here. You have a stereo inside, you can play music inside, outside or both inside and outside at the same time, okay? This is the back of your refrigerator. There's no maintenance to the, to the refrigerator. Uh, if you'd like to, just pop these two tabs off maybe once a year and just check that it's clean inside. There's not a, a mouse or, or a squirrel building a nest in there. But other than that, there's really nothing to do in here unless you have to work on it. You got a, two 110 outlets right here. Uh, if you want to put a TV outside or a table in a crock pot, something like that, as long as you're plugged into electricity, you'll get power from here, okay? This is the back of your furnace. Right now there's a mud diver screen on here to protect it from bugs building, building hives in there. Uh, when you do run your furnace, this will get warm here, so do not set anything in front of it. Don't let kids play around it because they can get burnt. It gets very hot when your furnace is running. This is the outside of your... your uh, inside air conditioning. Well, I'll show you that when we go inside. Now your awning, as I showed you, it's a manual awning. And it's very simple to use. Take your awning pole, connect it to here, and simply crank. Okay? Very simple, in and out crank. No, no electric motors to burn out or anything. Very nice system. Also in here you have all kinds of storage. Here's another stabilizer leg. Again, there's one at each corner. Right inside there is the tool to crank it down. What you can do is get yourself a cordless drill with a proper size uh, socket and, and just use your drill to go up and down. It's a lot easier than cranking. You have a brand new interstate battery. It's a deep cycle battery. It is a maintenance battery, so you do have to check the water in it periodically, maybe once or twice a year. Just make sure the water level stays up. Propane tank. This is a 20 pound propane tank, similar to your gas grill. If you want to run your heat, turn this on. Your furnace runs off of this. Your, your stove top runs off of this. As long as you have propane in here, you will get your furnace to work and you'll get, you'll get your, your stove to work properly. Seven pin wiring harness. Connects to your tow vehicle. And emergency brake cable here also connects to your tow vehicle. This has a manual crank up and down. Two and five eighths inch ball. Right here, if you're at a campground that has cable, right there is where you plug the cable in from the campground. Inside here is the other side of your storage, which I showed you from the other side. Here's your third stabilizer leg. Now, if you're at a campground and they have water, connect your hose to here and the pressure, turn the water on and it pressurizes everything on the inside. This is where you get your water pressure from the campground. Your fresh water connection, if you want to carry water, if you're going somewhere that does not have water, you need to put water in your holding tank. This probably holds 35, 40 gallons of water. When you use this water, there's a pump button on the inside, and I'll show you when we go inside. That pump button, when it's activated, will pump the water out of here to everything on the inside. Do not turn the pump button on if you're using your uh, pressure from the hose. Okay, this is your holding tank, and it requires the manual, the pump on the inside. This is the back of your hot water tank. There's really no maintenance in here. This is your plug. If you're done camping for maybe two, three weeks, I would drain the water out of there only because water stagnant inside there will start to smell after a while. 
It's just a simple screw it in, screw it out, and you're good to go. This is a propane only hot water tank. So you have to light it on the inside with a button uh, and it runs off of propane. Okay? Keep it clean in here. Make sure there's nothing nesting in here also. Right here is your, your uh, where you hook your sewage hose up. Your sewage hose has an end on it just like this. Simply take your sewage hose, screw it on here. Take the other end, put it in the ground. Now your black valve, that is your toilet waste. Your gray valve is your sink and your shower. So when you want to empty your, your tanks, simply pull your black valve, let it drain, then you pull your gray valve. You're always going to have a lot more gray than you are black. That's why you're pulling the black one first. So you pull the black, let it drain, then you pull the gray, and it flushes all, all the black waste down the tube. Then when you're done, just push these back in. Uh, now, if your campground does not have sewage, then you have to go to a dump station and do the same procedure. Put the hose on, pull your rack, your black valve, then you pull your gray valve. Same procedure as you would at the campground. Inside here, you have more storage. Okay. You have an outdoor shower, hot, hot and cold water. Got about a four, four foot hose there, so that's very handy. This is your power cord. It's a 30 amp 110. It looks like a dryer connection, but it's not. Don't plug it into 220. It's got to be plugged into 110. So simply take your storage, store your, your hose, your, your cord in here, twist it on here, plug it into the campground. Very simple. Here's your fourth stabilizer leg. With all four legs down in there, this thing will not rock on the inside at all. This is wired for a backup camera. It does not currently have a backup camera, but it is wired for one. Spare tire, hooked onto the bumper. Uh, so that's pretty much everything on the outside. We're gonna go inside now and we'll take a look at uh, some of the features on the inside. Okay, on the inside of your Palomino, you got two 110 outlets. Right here you have a pretty much a night light on your panel here, this shows your tanks. Uh, first tank shows battery, so you simply touch the battery and it shows that the battery is full. Fresh water, that would be the water that you're carrying. There is some in here because they pressurize the lines and make sure the lines didn't leak. So right now it shows two thirds full. Black tank is your toilet, shows empty. Gray, which is your shower and your sinks and it shows empty, okay? That's a good indicator. Don't trust it 100%, but it's a good indicator of what's in your tanks. Uh, your water pump, when you're using the water that you're carrying, there's your water pump. Simply turn that on and it pressurizes everything on the inside. Leave it on. It only actually runs when you turn the faucets on. Your water heater, if you want hot water, simply turn that on. Give it about 10 minutes. You have a six gallon hot water tank. Give it about 10 minutes and you'll get hot water. Uh, you don't, it, it only takes about 10 minutes for the, the water to heat up, so you may not want to let that run all night long. If you get up in the morning, simply turn that on, give it 10 minutes, and you're ready to go. Uh, light switches, interior, there's a little step light, you have an awning light, and that's everything on that panel. You have a Kitty Brand fire extinguisher. Over here, you have an AM, FM. Uh, radio again to play in here or outside or both at the same time Up top we have your uh, Air conditioner just like you put in a window at home Turn on and off set your temperature Your stove top Again, make sure your propane's on turn it to light Get a lighter light it and you're good to go same same thing with the other side But again your propane tank must be turned on this comes equipped with a microwave, pretty standard microwave, just like you see in your house. This is the back of your furnace. It, that is where your, your heat comes from, and your thermostat for your furnace is right here. Simply turn it on, set your temperature. It, show, it shows the temperature down here, and this is your temperature you want, want it to be inside. Roof vent here. 
your table goes down into a bed. Simply lower the table onto these rails, spread the cushions out, and you can sleep one or two kids there. Uh, behind, behind you, we have a, a uh, electric and propane refrigerator. Simple on and off switch. Right now, it's on automatic. Automatic is the is where you want to have it. What automatic means is if in, if you're camping in the middle of the night, the power goes out to the campground, this thing will automatically go to propane. Again, as long as your tank's on, it will go to propane. Power comes back on, it will automatically go back to electric. So what, whatever happens, it's going to go to propane or it will go back to electric. If you're traveling down the road and you want to have this thing full of fuel, uh, food and drink, that's perfectly fine. It will run on propane. When you get to your campground, you plug it in, it will go to electric. Uh, now you can force it to gas just by pushing that button, so it will only run on gas only. But 99% of the time, you want it on automatic. It's hassle-free. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, two bunks, upper and lower. Here we have a bathroom. You got a light switch here. Again, you have a vent with an exhaust fan. Your toilet, the way the toilets work in campers is as long as you have water pressure either from the hose outside or your water pumps on, halfway down we'll put water in the bowl, all the way down flushes it. Very simple, halfway down, water in the bowl, all the way down flushes. It's a regular shower, hot and cold water with a skylight. Okay, front bedroom. You have, a, you have a smoke detector here, another ceiling fan, and you can actually set temperature for that to come on and off. There is no storage out of the bed here, but you have some storage up here, your blinds. Now, this is your escape window. If for some reason you can't get to the door, pop this open, push it out, pull this red cord, this red tab here, pull the screen out, and jump out. Uh, now, if you just want to use it for ventilation, just you can just go like that and use it for ventilation during the evening or day. But to get out of here, push that all the way through. The window's on a hinge up here. It's not going to fall to the ground and, and jump out the window. Right here, we have some TV connections. Again, if you had the cable from the park, cable from here to your TV, that red button means there's an external antenna on here. Now, if you don't have cable, you wanna make sure that light's lit and you'll there's a power antenna here that you'll pick up local stations. If you, if you do have antenna, or I'm sorry, cable, you do not want that light on, turn it off, okay? Set your TV up here. It has a couple phone chargers or USB ports here, and again, two 110 outlets. That looks to be about everything in here. Your, your speakers are on either side here. Again, you can, you can play your stereo inside, outside, or both at the same time. But uh, nice little unit. Congratulations, and thanks for becoming part of the RCD family. Thank you.